guys, welcome to my video. This week, Steam has finally released its big picture mode. Now what this big picture mode is, it's a way for PC gamers to play PC games, but on their TV. Now, this is going to attract two sorts of people. It's going to attract the sort of person that already has the PC, and has a t TV nearby that he wants to use. But, more interestingly, console gamers, or someone who wants to play in front of their television, can now do so in a really easy way. So I thought it would be good to check it out and see whether it works. Basically, what the big picture mode is, is it's a way of getting a console-like overlay on your TV. And the whole idea is that you can use your controller from your sofa or wherever you've got your television without needing a mouse and keyboard. Now, you can play any Steam game that is controller enabled. Now these days that's quite a lot, but obviously you're not going to be playing things like Civ 5 and other games where a controller isn't an option. Now to get onto Steam Big Picture Mode, what you do is you simply click up here where it says Big Picture. And then this console like overlay will appear. Now, you could just use this on a monitor, but that would be very slow. So what we really need to do is use it on a television. Okay, here we are on a television. Now the easiest way to do this is just an HDMI cable from your PC to your television. Then you can play in 1080p, 60Hz, and you can get all the audio will go through with just one cable. So that's the easiest thing to do here. Now, if we actually look at the big picture here, you'll see that we have three main sections. We've got the store, the library, and the community, just like we do in the normal Steam mode. Uh, you've got notifications at the top, tells you the time, and where it says new for you, that's all like the pop-ups that you sometimes get on Steam that, let's be honest, are actually quite annoying. But they're there for you if you want them. And then you've got all your, your invites at the top, so like, um, let's have a look. Yeah, so you've got your things like your um, gaming clans and stuff, but I don't do any of that. Um, you've also got a built-in browser to the thing, so um, that's quite good. And if we click on, let's have a look. Well, let's not click on the thing. Pressing R trigger takes you straight back. Um, so if we go into the store, you'll see that we have recently played. So we can see all the games that I've recently played. And if you click all games, come up with all games. Now you've got some filter, some filters here. You've got, at the moment, what I've got is installed, so it only show you what's installed and what's not. But you can go on all games, and that'll show you all the games you've got. But probably the most useful one is going to be controller supported, because there's not much point using Big Picture unless you've got a controller. Here I've just got a standard Xbox 360 controller, and then that's hooked up with a £10 uh, wireless adapter that I got on eBay. So if you've already got an Xbox controller, great. If you don't, then you can buy the kit for around £30, or you can opt for a wired one, whichever one you prefer. Um, so you can see here I've got all of these games, and if I click on Bitreat Beat, you'll see that it's not installed. But just like in the normal one, I can click Install, and then it will start installing, and it will tell you downloading 0%, and 23%, 53%, and 82%, and there you go, and now it's ready to play, simple as that. So if we click play, then it will do the setup stuff, so the beauty of it is you don't actually ever need to leave it, which, you know, is part, if you like, is part of the complicatedness that people have with PC gaming, is the fact that it's not just a click and play, except now it is. So, if you want to play your games on your television, it's just got a whole lot easier. And as you will see, it says the Steam community access while playing. This is very, very similar, and in fact is almost the same as Xbox Live Overlay and of the PS3 XBM. So if we click on it, it comes up with your Steam Overlay, you can chat to your friends, yeah, you see all the recent news for the game, you can take a screenshot, well, it's quite loud, so let's turn that down. Um, and then you've got links and more. So everything you can do through Steam, you can do through Big Picture. You can chat to friends, although my friends are offline. I've got one, I've got a few online. Let's talk to let's talk to Marcus. Uh, and if we want to send him a message, and then you'll see that we have 
this weird looking flower type arrangement. Now this is your chat pad. Now I'm telling you, I'm not used to it yet, so I'm not going to be very good with it, and it probably will take you a while to get used to. But the idea is that once you get used to it, typing should be a whole lot quicker than it currently is now. Because obviously with Steam, you'd normally have a keyboard, so you can just type your message, you know, like that. But with this, with a controller, it's going to take slightly longer. But the idea is you can access more keys with one movement. So you, you move the stick to where you want. So if I want to write hello, I move it there, press A, then press E, then go along, and then like that. And that was quicker than just having an Xbox like keyboard where you have to go H, E. And once you get used to it, that's going to be quite good. So, if I don't know, hello, how are. Oh. No, alright. Okay, well, I'm not very good with it, and that's because I don't use it. But it's not going to be as quick as a keyboard, but once you're used to it, it's going to be quicker than just using a normal controller. So, there's a bit of innovation there, innovation from Valve there, which is quite nice. As for the game itself, right, so we actually had to use the mouse there just to go into the settings bar, which isn't fantastic, and, but that is the first time we've had to do that, but the whole idea is that you shouldn't have to do that at all. Right, let's try again, so if we click on transition, get into a game, and then you'll see that it works as it should, no real problems. Maybe this isn't the best game to show you because it's got an intro. But we can skip the intro, so I'll probably cut this bit. Right, now you see we're playing a game through Steam on our television with a controller. Now, it said that controller input isn't recommended, but and I agree, but that's just for this game. Um, if we want to play, yeah, you see, I'm really, really bad. So I think we should stop this right now. And let's go into a different game. So let's have a look. We go cancel. Uh, more? No, not more. Oh, left trigger, okay, so the triggers take you back into your menu. Uh, and then we can click on web, which is where, and then you can search for things like Facebook, Reddit. You've got your favourite pages in here, so if we go on Reddit, then that'll just open Reddit. See, it's nice and quick, as it should be. And then you can just click on something. Job done. Back into Steam, and let's have a look, how do we get out? Um, how do we get it? Give me a sec. Well, it turns out the way to exit the game is through the game itself. There's no um, like quick exit like there is on Xbox or PS3. But I'm guessing that's just a limitation of the games themselves rather than Steam. So we're back into Steam, and you've seen that installing is you know pretty easy. Uh, but if we want to play something else, then that's pretty simple as well. You just click on it and it will play. So this one, Just Cause 2 is installed. So your end license agreements, all that stuff, all comes through big picture and you don't ever need to exit and you can just play. Yeah. And it will go in, which is a nice touch and it's something that if I was going to play on my TV then I'd consider using. Uh, why isn't it working? Right. I'm not sure why that's not working. I'm not sure why that's not working. <laughs> so, bit of a fail there. Uh, let's try something else, Tomb Raider. Okay, so here um, you see that in order to play Tomb Raider, you need to use a mouse. So, not all games are optimised for it. But it's early days, and it's not that difficult just to press OK and start your game. But, you know, it's still not as streamlined yet as consoles will be. But I imagine especially Valve's next game and other games, right, okay, this is not right. But, we can change it. Display. Uh, this one. Yes, there we go. So, you can actually do it through the game, but, you know, it's not ideal. Apply, yes. 
job done. Playing on your TV with a controller. Now, we've seen that it's not perfect, but it doesn't stop there as to not perfect. Because as you may know, not all games are available through Steam. So what if you don't want to play a game that's on Steam? Let's have a look, shall we? We go and exit Tomb Raider. Looking forward to playing the next one, by the way. Hopefully that will be control pad supported like this one. So you see I've just got a chat message. So you see if we go there, press R trigger, and then it, my chat is there. So, you know, pretty easy, pretty simple. It works, and does it work as well as consoles? Yeah, the chat does. I think so. No real, no real problems with that. Um, but as I was saying, what if I want to play a game that's not through Steam? So click on recent, or go to all games even. Now you see Assassin's Creed 3. Now this is through Uplay, this isn't through Steam. I've put a shortcut in there, so what if I want to play it? Well, let's see, shall we? We click play, and then Uplay pops up. And obviously my controller can't do anything. So I have to use the mouse. So it's not ideal and you're gonna need a mouse around. But generally it's more streamlined than um, a normal PC. Way, way more streamlined than a normal console experience um, would be through the PC. So it's good that Steam of seeing that there is an audience there are people that don't want to wait for the PS4, or well, there's people that just want the other bits about the PC um, that you can't get through consoles, like maybe better graphics, or maybe just having a nice PC. But it's very nice to have the option, and you see that I'm straight in the game now, and although I had to press play with the mouse, which let's be honest isn't that difficult, I can now continue where I was. So, you know, job done. Will I use this? No. Plainly because I don't need to. Uh, but if I was maybe going to play a controller game for a long period of time then maybe I would go through big picture just so I could chat to friends but when my PC is right there and my can you know this is I don't see much need for it but a good application a great application would be for the new Alienware was it the X51 don't hold me to that can't remember exactly what it's called but they're little like controller like box so if you used that this would be fantastic with it. Stick it under your telly, and then when you um, boot, you boot. You can boot straight to Steam. Go into Big Picture, and then you've got a PC experience, but now enabled for controllers, and it's fantastic. And when someone comes round, you maybe have a mate come round, and you're playing something like, oh my god, you got the, what's that? It's a new console. It's like no, it's the PC. So thank you for watching this video, and I hope that if you do have a television then maybe you give Big Picture a go. You don't need a television to give it a go, you can just use your monitor. Maybe you want to lie back on your bed and play a TV over there with Big Picture, I don't know. But one thing I would recommend, to be honest, is getting a wireless one. I don't see why people don't get the wireless ones. It's just so much nicer not to have a wire there. And if I ever want to disconnect and, like for example, in Far Cry, I'll have this sitting by and then whenever I'm driving a vehicle, Pick it up, turn it on, do my little driving, when I'm done, take the battery in and out, and then my PC, keyboard, ready to go. So thank you for watching this video. Um, I've got my Assassin's Creed Part 3 coming up, I think, soon. And then after that, I am going to do a little video just about PC gaming in general. So this is an in-depth look at uh, Steam Big Picture and um, controller-enabled games. But I'll be doing a much wider synopsis of why PC gaming is good and why, if you aren't a PC gamer, you should really give it a good look. So thanks for checking out this video and I'll see you next time.